What's up guys, Takedown here, back with another story time. Today is episode 14, and this might be one of my most serious story times that I've ever done. It's something I never really talked about too much to anyone, but I thought I will open it up to my viewers, so it is what it is. Um, let's just get right into it. So, Saving a Life is the title of this one, because everybody, my family, some other people that know about this, strongly believe that I saved a life that day. Um, let me just explain. So to start it off, it was started off as a great day. It was one of my co-workers who I consider one of my really close friends. It was her wedding, and I've never been to a wedding before, so went to her wedding that night. Um, didn't stay too long, stayed, went around 6, went home about 10 or 11, 10 30 let's say, and at the wedding I had the dance with the bride who was my friend, so that was really great, um, so I got to dance with the bride, but it's what happened later that night that everything went south, so got home, my family... So my parents, my grandparents, were out back, drinking a little bit, having a bonfire, having a great time. I came back. I don't like bonfires, but I decided I'll go out for a couple minutes to see them, to say hi, because my grandparents are there. Normally, it's just both my parents, and I'll usually stay inside. But I decided to go out. I was outside for maybe less than half an hour, and um, it's getting hard to talk about it, but anyways... And we we're just talking. I told them that I, you know, I danced with the bride, how it was, who was there. You know, it was a great time. First time being at a wedding. So I was excited. I was happy. Um, I came back inside. I don't remember if I took a shower or not. But then I just, I came downstairs. I had some chips. I was recording a video. I can't remember what it was. Something tells me I was trying to sing a song and record my voice on it and I, I was doing a couple takes, and all of a sudden, my mom bursts in the door, screaming at the top of her lungs. He's in the creek. He's in the creek. And a little backstory before I continue. The back of my property, uh, where I live, in town, there's a creek that runs through the back. So we actually have a bridge. It was a wooden bridge. It's not the greatest bridge. We do have to repair it soon, hopefully in the future, because it's, it's getting weak and deteriorating. But... The water wasn't too high, but we, we have a creek in our backyard, so where they have the bonfires at the other side, and in this area we have it not fenced off, but there's um, bush around it. That's kind of our property line. We put that in. Um, but she came in the house screaming, he's in the creek, he's in the creek, he's in the creek. I'm sitting here. I took my uh, mic off or my headphone out, you know, turned my laptop down or close my laptop I'm like what are you talking about oh he's in the creek he, she's running for a flashlight I'm like ma settle down I don't know what you're talking about so she leaves she goes outside I'm like what the fuck are you talking about who's in the creek what are you talking about meanwhile she was a little tipsy so I didn't know if she was joking what happened the severity of it so I went outside and to my surprise my grandfather um, was in the creek and I was like, fuck. I was in shock. Didn't know what happened. I wasn't there. Everybody's drinking a little bit. Don't know where my grandma was at the time. Found her later, but I didn't know where she was. So we're freaking out. Mom went down to the creek. Dad's wasted. He is crying. He's bawling his eyes out. He's trying to help but because he's drunk. He's no help. And we knew he was going to be injured. So we had to basically tell him to get the F up there. I went inside, I called my aunt, she didn't come over for the bonfire, but I was really pissed off at my aunt at the time, and then later on it was again, again too, but I was pissed because I said, you know, he's in the creek right now, yeah right, and went to hang up, I'm like, no, he's in the fucking creek, like what don't you understand, I'm on the phone pissed off, I'm not going to call you and tell somebody's in the creek that it's a freaking emergency, if it's not, get over here now. And she took her time getting over here. Even though they're really close. She walked over. I do give her that. 
but they're re they live really close. They live less than it takes me to walk. Like it takes me longer to walk to work because work's farther, like twice the distance, and I can walk to work within ten minutes. So she was at least fifteen minutes. The ambulance, um, I can't remember if the ambulance beat her here, or, or sorry, the ambulance just came shortly after she arrived. But once I called her, I called nine one one because I'm the only one with logic right now. Everybody like mom's tipsy. Dad's drunk. Don't know where grandma is, so I'm calling 911. Tell them the address. Tell them what happened. I, even though I don't know fully what happened. I'm like, he's in the creek somehow. I don't freaking know what's going on. So the ambulance came. I'm on the phone with her the whole time. I'm like, I, I said, I got to get him out of the water. So I put the phone down just on the, the bridge, which there's no railings on the bridge. So I thought somehow he went over that way, but I did, didn't know fully. So I, I took my, actually I wasn't wearing shoes, so I took my flip-flops off, I left my socks on, I was in shorts, because um, I was chilling inside at the time, and I ran down, I jumped in the water, or I actually slipped and landed in the water on my feet. My feet were sore just from that, but managed to get him up on the rock, and then we managed, because we have one side that's slippery whenever it was raining, um, but it was easier to bring him up the rocky side, so one side's like mud and plants to make it contact so the roots will keep everything in contact and the other side's rocks built up so we took him up the rock side me and mom got him to the top went back to the phone told him okay he's out of the water now he this 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 that and the other meanwhile the ambulance arrives takes him um it, it was just it was it was just everything happened at once it was a huge emergency i've never had anything like that happen before but i was on the ball i had the people that were on the phone saying you're, you're doing everything right we don't even have to tell you what to do you're doing everything right you just know what you're doing so i was like Shh, okay well fuck i'm doing it um but i had to set the phone down a few times just to make sure he's okay and paramedics came so i'm helping them meanwhile my aunt's kind of not doing much my grandma turns out before the paramedics and my aunt came my grandma was in the van because they were t turns out they were about to leave and then something just triggered his mind and he ended up in the the creek so i'll mention that I'll talk about that in a second but she was in the um van at the time ready to go home her hearing aid went out so whenever she was i was trying to comfort her she didn't know fully what was going on she is her, her hearing aid the battery died so she seen my grandfather was in the creek she couldn't hear a damn thing we were saying so she is f freaking out i'm like shit so i'm trying to comfort her and she doesn't know fully what's going on I'm like what what's going on like why is he in the i don't i can't i wasn't there i wasn't there i can't tell you grandma i wasn't there so Paramax came, we were getting him up on the stretcher and dad's like hey, uh, do you guys know what you're doing do you, and that pisses off paramedics I understand that paramedics would get pissed off for that. Yes, we know what we're doing. You, you sure you guys know what you're doing? It was two females, so I think dad was a little bit drunk and was trying to be like against that. But basically, I told him, I said, either you get back, you let them do their job, or you and I are going to have a problem and you're going to get your ass kicked right now in front of everybody because I'm not putting up with this shit. He needs some medical attention right the F now. The bridge was weak, I didn't mention that before, so whenever we were taking him over the stretcher, over the bridge, you could hear it cracking and we had to lift it up over some boards, so um, there's that. Got him in the ambulance, and then we, that's whenever he got rushed back, nobody was in the ambulance with him, but they decided, okay, who's going? So I said, I'm freaking going because I'm the one that's most that knows A, the most right now, and B... Um, is kind of on an adrenaline rush, so I'm not fucking tired at all. So they're like, okay. So my aunt, I, I would have rather my mom go, but my aunt went, my grandma went. My grandma or my aunt made it like a joke. It's like, oh well, he should. We should just let him go himself. All this crap, and it's like, why the f didn't you stay at home? mom could have came like i was pissed off because his life it could be worse when we get back to the hospital he could have broke something he could be way worse condition than we thought 
shut the F up and drive. Meanwhile, she's driving slowly. The hospital's nowhere close. Like, it's, it's about a 30-minute drive, at least. And she's driving slow. Little did we know, she took gravel before she came over, like before I called her, before this incident happened. So she was a little drowsy. So I was pissed off that at the time I had my license, I could have drove back. Fine, I would have done the speed limit or a little bit more because we were in a rush. And she was driving really slow because she was high off of medication, like sleeping medication. It's like, how fucked are you to drive? But that's not the point of this video. I just thought, I'm, I'm getting really into it now, and getting aggressive. And I do apologize, but if you're staying through this whole thing, I do appreciate it, because it's, it's important. Afterwards, we don't know exactly, even to this day, what happened. This happened over last summer, by the way. Um, so we don't fully know what happened. But that day, five years ago, uh, on that day, his daughter died. So not like any relation to me, it was a previous relationship, um, but his daughter had died, or sorry, a year or two before that date, his daughter died. Five years before the date, she gave him some whiskey, and he never drank it, and then two years after she died, on that exact day, he decided to drink it, which is the day this all happened, so we thought... That might have played into it, like drinking and then everything in his mind at the time was triggering it. And then uh, my aunt was saying, oh, it was the whiskey. It wasn't, in my opinion, it's something triggered in his head. And that's what most of us think. But I think we were, just, I think what happened was he was just thinking about her. And then what happened is she, grandma went into the, the van um, to sit because he was ready to leave in a minute. He was just finishing telling a war story or, or a, a story from his younger days. He got up. He asked where grandma was. One of my parents said, oh, she's out in the van. And then instead of normally he would go around them and then on the bridge home, like to head out to the van. He ran right straight into the creek. Head first. He had a big gouge on his head. Pouring out blood. We we didn't think he would survive. He did, thankfully. But this it was just one of those experiences that you just don't want to go through. Um, and everybody, even to this day, said I saved his life. You know, he's really thankful for me. You know, I love him to death. And it, it's just something that I wish nobody has to go through. But there's times in life that you might have to go through something. So I guess the moral of the story is... Um, Actually, I don't really know, like, just try, try to be on the ball, you know, call 911 if you don't know what to do, because nine times out of ten, they will tell you, and that's pretty much it. So I just wanted to have this story as a story time, because it's, I wanted to get it off my chest and actually tell it in a video format, basically just to move on past it. Um, my grandfather's still alive to this day. He is up there in age, so, um... You know, he's, he's great. He was there for me when I was a kid. So I will leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. It's not a typical story time. I'm going to try to make them enjoyable more in the future. But it's a story time because I feel like my story time should be about my memories in the past. The good, bad, and the ugly. So this is one of those ugly ones. But I will leave this here. Please leave a thumb up, thumbs up if you did enjoy. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.